Hey y'all, Christina Wilson here with Smith Spencer Real Estate in Charleston, South Carolina. Today we're going to be talking about terms of the contract and the other terms that are in the contract that are just as important as the purchase price. So this is for my sellers and for my buyers. And so just wanted to get out there and connect on what our contract look, looks like, what are the things you should be looking for. And as a seller, you shouldn't just be focused on the purchase price. There are other terms in the contract that could affect your bottom line, which is typically the most important to any seller. So purchase price, sure, that's important. Like, I, I understand that. Next up, we have closing date. So how quickly can you close, right? If you're paying cash, you can typically close in two weeks or less. If you're obtaining financing, it's typically gonna take, at a very minimum, 28 days. So you're, you're looking closer to a month. So closing date is important because the quicker you close, the better it is for the seller because the better they get it off their plate, they don't have the carrying costs. So that is important how quickly you can close as a seller. Earnest money. So earnest money is essentially a security to deposit that the buyer will put down showing their good faith to the seller that they're interested in the home. Um, and so the amount that you put down could show the seller how interested you are, especially in a multiple offer situation. Um, typically we see these around 1%, but in a multiple of the purchase price, but in a multiple offer situation, you might want to offer more than that just to show the seller that you're very, very interested in the property and you do not intend on backing out. So that earnest money goes to the closing attorney. Typically they hold on to it and then it goes back to the buyer, um, at the closing table and helps them, uh, with their closing costs. So you do get it back as you're a, if you're a buyer and for sellers, it's just some security knowing that they're um, super interested in your property. Closing costs. So as the buyer, are you asking the seller for closing costs? Any money that you're asking for from the seller to get to the closing table deducts from their bottom line. So if it's a $900,000 house and you're asking for $10,000 in closing costs, from the seller's view, that's typically an $890,000 offer. So super important. Uh, financing. So we kind of already covered this, but are you paying cash or are you obtaining financing? Are you getting, it's also going to be different based off of the type of loan. So conventional FHA, VA, what type of loan are you getting? Who's the lender? That is so important because some lenders don't make it to the closing table. I can't stress that enough. Um, so financing is going to be really important. Due diligence. So that's going to be your time period when you're getting your inspections done. If you're the buyer, the lower the time period, we typically do seven to 10 days, but the lower of time you can do it in, the better, especially if you're in multiple offers. Uh, there's an appraisal contingency. So if you can waive the appraisal co appraisal contingency, I recommend that you do, especially in multiple offers. It's harder to do when you're obtaining financing, so it'll depend on the lender, loan, those types of things, and if you have cash to bring to the table in case there is a discrepancy. But if you're paying cash, waive the appraisal. Um, the CL100, so the CL100 in Charleston is our wood infestation report, and so you can waive that. And what I recommend you do is that you do waive it and that you have the CL100 inspection done during your due diligence period and you negotiate whatever you need to in that period. Um, and then home warranty. So home warranties are kind of fluctuate with the market. It's a seller's market, so buyers aren't really going to be asking for um as much if it's a buyer's market maybe a home warranty would be more normal but we don't really see that i don't recommend people do that right now maybe if you're buying a home that has really old systems and appliances um but otherwise we i just don't recommend or see those frequently right now so those are other terms of the contract that as a seller are going to affect your bottom line and as a buyer if you want to be competitive you need to understand every term of the contract so that when you're presenting an offer you have your best foot forward so I hope that's helped. Drop your comments in below and let me know if you were a seller, what would be some of the top things you'd be looking for. And like always, if you need any help, connect with me, shoot me a DM, give me a ring. I'm here for you and I'll catch y'all soon.